Hi everyone, I'm Scott and this is my YouTube channel, The Quilting Camper. And guess what time it is? It's so sampler unboxing time. This is September, 2024. I hope you'll join me. Welcome back. I am so glad you decided to join me on this unboxing of the So Sampler box from Fat Quarter Shop, September 2024 edition. And you know what? My post office did something mean to the box again. Look at this. Wow. This is such a pretty box. It needs to be loved more. <laughs> well, you know what? They work very hard at the post office. So no offense to my Milwaukee guys here at the post office. Thank you. I am so glad you decided to join me today because this is a really great box. It's not the most valuable box that we've gotten, but the things in it are really wonderful. And I'm gonna try a different format today. I am not gonna read the little descriptions on the cards and flubber my way through all the verbiage because you know you love my bloopers on those. And I think I have more fun reading and messing up than I do actually reading what they really mean. And so I'm just going to give my analogy and what it's all about. I think that's the opinions that you guys are looking for. Let's go ahead and start the unboxing. So the theme for this month is all the classics. Nice. I like the name of this box. I remember Kimberly Jolly getting on the YouTube channel and then talking about, you guys are gonna love this box. It is all about the classics. And I thought, ooh, this will be a good box. And she was right. And there is a code in here for 15% off of Jolly Bars. If you guys don't know what a Jolly Bar is, it is a five by 10 inch cut of fabric. As a matter of fact, I'm doing a Jolly Bar quilt right now. And these are my cuts. This is from the Folk and Lore from Fancy That Design House. I cut my half a layer cake up into a whole Jolly Bar, which is really cool to do. So if you ever get a half a layer cake, you can cut it into one Jolly Bar. People that subscribe to the box and take advantage of that 15% off coupon, unfortunately I cannot share it with all of you. Of course, we got our beautiful little leaflet in here that they put together. I love all the descriptions, but we're not gonna read them today because you know I'm gonna screw it up anyway. <laughs> I'm so positive today. The first item in this box caught me by surprise, and that is a Creative Grid five and a half inch ruler, OMG. I have a four and a half inch that I like to use for five inch ones that I wanna trim down to four and a half. I also have a eight and a half one, see? I didn't think I would ever get a five and a half one in a box. I'm so excited. These are so expensive. And to have these in your sewing room and your space are so wonderful. I love Creative Grid rulers because they have that non-slip coating on the back side, And I love the clear markings on them. For a five and a half inch, it's nice to trim down to five inches. So I really like this. This is going to be a great thing to have. And that's worth $19. So it's a great value in the box. The next item in the box is the Clover Hot Ruler Strip. This is really cool because then you can press your seams with an iron and fold them and get a perfect measurement on that seam. It's something I would never buy. And I keep looking at like, hmm, this might actually become kind of handy. I love that it has a rounded edge too. So if you ever have a corner that you need to go around and fold over, that would be really handy. And then you get the exact diameter, the half inch and the quarter inch. This is kind of cool. And it's a Fat Quarter Shop exclusive and it's valued at $9.98. We always get fun things in the box that I know I would never buy, but I would love to try. And the other thing I have said over and over again, we always like to get a spool of thread in a box once in a while. And guess what? We got Aurafil Color 2000. All right, rock on. I use Color 2000 for everything on all my machines for most of my everyday piecing. I can thank Miss Kimberly Jolly for that, a fat quarter shop. She got me turned on to using Color 2000 just because it blends in with most warm neutrals. Having a small one is gonna be handy too. Very excited about getting this. This, of course, is worth $5.98. Great value to the box. And, of course, we have some patterns. Because there's a Jolly Bar in here, if you buy Jolly Bars from Fat Quarter Shop, there's always an auxiliary pattern, and they included it in the box as well. And that doesn't have a value because it's a bonus. It's added to the actual Jolly Bar. 
And the next item in the box is the Sew Sampler exclusive pattern that's only available in the Sew Sampler box. Most patterns you can download and purchase from Fat Quarter Shop, but this is not one of those. And it gives you everything that you need on the back to finish the quilt. This is worth $9.98. It's written very easy to read. It's a beautiful pattern. You also have the Quilt Along pattern, which is worth $4.98. And this is number six. And I want to say it's Ohio Star Basket Block really beautiful. These you can purchase on the Fat Quarter Shop for $4.98 and that is what the pattern is worth. Also you can sometimes get finishing kits if they are available. For the most part whenever they include a pattern in this box they will have a finishing kit available. They're just limited and you need to act on it to get it if you want. Okay now for the fabric. I will read the actual write-up for the fabric. I have to. It's a fig tree pattern and this is a full-size jolly bar. Fig Tree Quilts combines strong and sweet in her name denim and daisies from the line for Moda fabric. Rough and tumble blues are mixed with the soft orange and butterscotch hues in a set of Moda fabric that invites you to create warm, welcoming quilts for your home. This jolly bar includes a full range of prints from the line, from tonal classics to intricate florals, including an extra jolly bar exclusive pattern that is just delightful in denim and daisies. And this is worth $22.98. And here is the colorway and patterns. What did you think? Isn't that a beautiful pattern? I mean, Jolly Bars are really awesome. And if you haven't checked it out, Fat Quarter Shop has some really cool pattern books for Jolly Bars. So what do you guys think? Is this an all-time sewing classic? Does it live up to your expectations? I think it's a beautiful box. It's well-balanced. The creative grid just totally surprised me. I always love getting some Aurifil thread, especially Color 2000, because I use this all the time. And the Jolly Bar. I'm never going to hate a Jolly Bar. These are the best cuts of fabric. I like everything in the box. I'm not really a fan of the pattern, but you know what? These are always nice to keep on file and I can share these with my friends. You know, it's a wonderful thing. I'm really happy with it. It came to about $73. It's not the most value I've had in a box, but I paid $36 plus tax and shipping to have it shipped here in Wisconsin. So it's a good deal. This is a never ending value. I just think So Sampler is the best box on the market for subscriptions. I've watched a couple others out there and I just can't find the uniqueness that I find with So Sampler. Remember you guys, I pay for all my boxes. So Sampler, which is a part of Fat Quarter Shop, does not sponsor me in any way or form. I don't even have a code I can share with you. This is just me sharing the box with you because I get a subscription every month and it gives me a reason to create content for you, which leads me to something I wanna chat with you about. I would love it if you could share my videos. I'm at 195 subscribers. I'm literally five peeps away from 200. Now granted, I need to get to 500 to have some potentials to grow this channel. I am so tickled pink that you guys sit in your living rooms or in the car watching me on the phone. Of course, not driving, I hope. And of course, if you're on your lunch breaks, you're looking at my content, checking out my social media. I love that. And that's what I'm here to do is to build a community of kindness, sharing creativity. And I am just excited to be here to make content for you. It just helps me share a little bit of what's happening in my life. I really wanna make some videos on how to make stuff but filming around a sewing machine like Bernie here and trying to get the logistics to get the quality I want to deliver takes a lot of time. And in order for me to spend that kind of time, I need to make sure that you guys really want me to create videos. So the best thing that you can do is leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my videos and share my content. That would be really great. Okay, everybody, make sure you check out my blog, thequiltingcamper.com to see what's coming, what's up to date. I just recently took a trip to Primitive Gatherings. You can check out my visit there up in, I forget what it is. It's up near Appleton. It's actually near Winchester, Wisconsin, but I forget the name of the town. But anyway, I was up there. It was a really beautiful shop. It's owned by Lisa Bonjean. I'm sure you've heard of her on the YouTube. Plus, I'm going to be making my half a yard bag. And aren't these cats cute? This is an Ikea fabric pattern, and I just picked it up about a month ago. Recently had a video short that Ikea has fabric again. And I used to make totes all the time 
time out of their fabric. So I'm going to show you how to make a tote out of half a yard of canvas duck fabric. This is great because it's 68 inch width. So you get a lot of extra width. So you can make that bag a little bit deeper and you can still get handles and a zipper pouch out of it. Of course, I have to provide the zipper. I have those, so we can do that. Anyway, you guys, I am so happy you decided to join me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like the new format where I don't read all the stuff off the description pad. If you prefer it, hey, then I will go back to reading them. I just wanted to try a little bit different. Um, remember, keep sharing kindness, share love, give people a hug, say that you care about them every single day. That's what we're here to do. We're here to make sure that we're all okay. I know that September is National Mental Health Awareness Month. We're coming to the end of it, but it's really important that if you have anybody in your life that needs help, that you get them the support that they need, don't put it off. Make sure that you let them know that you care because ultimately sharing kindness is why we're all here. So thanks again, everybody. I hope you have an awesome night and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. I find that the markings are super easy to read and of course they've got these little... Um, Little sandpaper? I don't know, what What do you call these? Like little, uh, maybe I should read the descriptions. <laughs> Once again, thank you for watching. Check out some of my other YouTube videos on my channel, The Quilting Camper. See you really soon.